Scott from Walker Grant Middle School. And for Thursday's warm-up, it says this. Again, it's going to be a little bit of probability, which is always, again, the whatever the probability of the event. So whatever the event is, again, it's the in the numerator, it's the count of event. That means how many times did it happen, how many are there. If you can count, you can find that out. And then on the denominator, again, it's just the total number, let's say, of events. Meaning, for example, in this problem, we would be talking about socks. So we're just trying to say, okay, in the numerator, whatever event it is, that's what we're looking for. In the denominator, the total. Super, super simple each time. Again, if you can count and you can multiply, you can do probability. All right, so it says uh, Kenya is trying to find matching socks. There are four red socks, six blue, and two white. What is the probability that Kenya will pull out a blue sock, put it on, and then pull out another blue sock. Again, I kind of boxed in this uh, put it on because you're thinking, okay, when I'm putting on a pair of socks, I'm not going to put it back. So that means that's going to be dependent. Dependent. And I can also uh, draw out my sample space right here. So right where it has that four uh, red, so I can do one two, three, four. I can do six blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lastly, I can do two white socks. So one, two. Again, that kind of shows our little sample space. You can kind of think of this as a, uh, a pile of laundry or maybe a drawer of socks, whatever it might be. So in total, so a total of 10 socks. Okay, that makes us uh, have that as our first denominator. So we can say it like this. All right, what's the probability of picking a blue? Well, in the numerator, again, I just count the number of blue ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six blue ones. On the denominator, again, I said I have 10 total. So it'd be six. Let's try this again. Always make a mistake, but that's okay. Hey, we're human. We correct it and we move on counting correctly this time, there's 12 total. All right. So again, be very careful. Double check yourself. So we have 12 total. That means this. I have six of them are blue, 12 total. Again, I can simplify this fraction, dividing by the common factor of six. So I'd have one half. Okay. So again, the probability of pu uh, pulling out a blue sock is one half. However, again, I I can erase this or I can you know scratch it out. I put it on. I put that sock on. Okay, so that means I have how many socks remaining? I have eleven socks remaining. Remaining. That's just saying, hey, of these uh, ones that are there, now how many are blue? So I'd say, all right, probability of blue after I took a blue out. Again, that after is just referring to dependent. And so, okay, let's see. Again, we can count. We say, all right, how many are blue? We have one, two, three, four, five. So there are five blue ones. And then how many total do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Again, we do one event at a time, and then the very last thing we do is we multiply those two fractions together. So we're gonna say it like this. We're gonna say probability of picking a blue sock and another blue sock, because we're trying to match. We have our first one. We say one half. We have our second one as five over 11 multiply those numerators together. You're going to have 5 times 1. That's going to equal 5. And then I have 2 times 11. Again, multiply those denominators together. will be 22. Probability is extremely, extremely simple if you're able to multiply together.